Well, good morning, church. Uh, we're glad that you've tuned in for the daily devotionals. Uh, may this be a time where we seek and gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. May we enjoy and think about who we are as a community, that the church is not a building, but the people of God. And so each day this week, we're going to reflect on some of those points of who we are and what God calls us and then what is our purpose. So this morning, we're talking about being the church is the body of Christ. It, this, there's this prevailing image throughout uh, the scriptures that we are Christ's body, that we're the, the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, 26 through 31 says, If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. And God has placed in the church, first of all, apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, of helping, of guidance, and of different kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Now eagerly desire the greater gifts, and yet I will show you the most excellent way. We know on in the next chapter that he begins to talk about love in 1 Corinthians 13. I encourage you maybe to even study that this morning. Paul also writes in Ephesians 1, 20 through 23. He exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion. And every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and pointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Christ is the head of the church. We are the body. That he is the head. He's in charge of everything. Colossians 1.18 says, And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. In all things, we want Jesus to get the glory. And so may you worship him this morning. He is the head of our church. We want to continue to have him be in charge and rule over our lives. So this morning, this day, as you follow him, may you know that Jesus is in control. He's in control of the church. He's in control of our nation. May you surrender everything to him now. And let's worship him. Let's praise him. And let's sing to him this morning. In the process, in the waiting, you're making melody. Presence is a promise, for I am a pilgrim on a journey. You will lift my head above the mighty waves. You are able to keep me from stuff. my footsteps and my path secure so walking on water is just the beginning cause my faith to rise and stand at attention for you are calling me to grace Yeah. 
Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet. I encourage you as the music plays uh, just to uh, allow and to sit and rest in God's presence. Uh, let me pray for you this morning. Father, uh, I thank you that each person listening in, that you have called them, that they are a part of your body, that you have uniquely wired them and gifted them as we are going to explore in coming weeks. I just thank you for the gifts that you've called. Maybe the world Maybe voices are discouraging one of my brothers and sisters now. May your voice be louder. May you be the head of the church as you are. And so may that encourage us. May that motivate us. May that guide us throughout our day. That we are united to you. You are the head of it all. So we praise you and worship you. And just pray for my brother and sister as they go and make their day and go on in their day that you would bless them and keep them and be with them. We ask that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Would you just enjoy and seek and, and gaze upon the beauty of the Lord as the music continues to play on. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.